Hey, what's up guys? Before we jump into this video, I just wanted to let y'all know that after this video, go over to twitch.tv forward slash gaming with molt. I'm going to be streaming, I'm going to be playing some Clash, maybe a little bit of Boom, but mainly Clash on all three of my accounts. Uh, we're probably going to be at it for about three hours, so if you watch this video and you're two hours in, come on, stop on by the stream, come hang out for a little bit, talk to me, um, watch some live raids, all that kind of stuff, talk to some other fans, some other Moltoneers, whatever the freak we want to call ourselves. Um, and I will see you guys there, alright? Again, that's twitch.tv forward slash gaming with Molt. It is in the description if you want to click on that link. I'll see you there. Bye guys. Enjoy the video. Today we are on the Town Hall 9. Uh, we don't do too many videos on the Town Hall 9 anymore because we're pretty much maxed. Um, but once we hit 140,000 subscribers, which is going to be pretty soon, I think we're at like 136 right now. Um, we're going to do another $100 max out episode, which honestly is probably all going to be spent on walls. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll do some hero upgrades. I might upgrade each of them one level or something and then do walls. We'll have to see, but I definitely want to get all of my walls maxed before I go up to Town Hall 10. Um, which shouldn't be too hard. I'm just going to have to play a lot. <laughs> and that's really all there is to it. Um, but what I'm going to be showing you guys today is the power of Barch, especially in this week as people are boosting their minds and pumps and all that kind of stuff. We're going to go ahead and search... Um, while I talk to y'all. So here's a perfect example of it. There's 146,000 uh, gold. Watch this. Okay? So with this week and everything that's going on with everything, uh, you can simply go around and do what I'm doing right here. We're going to get in here and try and get uh, some of that elixir as well. I also don't want to lose too many trophies. Let's see if we can get in here to this gold mine also. Come on. Um, so we're going to have these archers come in and then take out that gold mine. And uh, let's see, we've got some elixir right here as well. We need to try and get in there to that elixir. So all that's left out of all of that is uh, 13,000 elixir, 12,000 elixir, which we're taking out at the top of the base right up here, um, and 7,000 gold. Once we hit 50%, I'm just going to go ahead and end the battle. Um <clears throat> There it is right there. We're not going to be able to get any more loot. Uh, so that is 130,000 gold. That adds up really, really quickly, um, especially when you're barching and if you have things boosted. Um, so I'm just going to keep my I'm just going to keep my barch on. I'm just going to continue training all these up and keeping my barracks full. And as you raid and you find stuff like that, it's a very cheap army composition. And especially, like I said, in a week like this where everybody is doing that. If you stay in the silver and gold leagues, um, you should be able to find a lot of bases. Let's see how many troops we have. So we'll be there in a second. You should be able to find a lot of bases that have their mines and pumps uh, boosted that you can just steal from. Uh, <laughs> it works really, really, really well. I'm also going to show you guys this awesome attack that I had earlier. Right here, look at all of this loot. 382,000 gold, 260,000 elixir. I'm doing a go wipe raid, and we are going to annihilate it. Um, but again, guys, if you had Barch, you would have been able to get all of this loot. You can see that everything is around the outside of the base. Um, so that is a perfect reason why Barching is great. It's the cheapest army comp. It really is the cheapest army composition unless you just use all barbarians. Um, or you can do BAM if you want to, but that uses Dark Elixir. So that's why I don't use it because I'm trying to save my Dark Elixir. Um, but we're just doing a go wipe raid. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. Um, <clears throat> but if I just had a bunch of archers down here at the bottom, then we would have been able to take out all that. You'll see the wizards come in and start just ticking away at all that gold and all those other resources. Um... And then we finish up right here with all the troops coming in here. So there's 30,000 of each resource in each of these mines and pumps. Um, you can see we're about to get 25,000 from that. There we go. That's the end of the battle. Um, a sick amount of loot from that. And it's all because of uh, the scenario that we're in right now with boosting. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can find... Another battle with um, hopefully about 100 of each resource that is in the mines and pumps. That one wasn't too bad, but I want to see if we can find one that is uh, even better. So 
Barch even works when it's not a week like this week where everybody has things boosted. It's really good for pushing trophies up into the crystal leagues. Um, you just have to get pretty good and consistent at it, and sometimes you'll need your uh, clan castle or your king and queen to come in and do some work for you. But for the most part, you can generally get 50% with just Barch. And on bases like that one we just skipped, you can get 50% with the town hall and actually end up getting two stars. Um, but hopefully we can find a base here in just a second that has a good amount of loot on the outside of it again. As you can see, we've only been searching for like 30 seconds or so, and we haven't found anything yet, but you might search for, I don't know, maybe two, two minutes, something like that, and you'll spend an okay amount of gold doing that, but then you'll find stuff like here. Let's go ahead and attack this one as well. So there's all this elixir down here that we're going to get, and then there's all this gold right up here that we're going to get. And you don't have to deploy all your troops, and if you have everything boosted, then by the time you're done with the battle, pretty much when you get back to your base, you're going to have a full army again. Um, we just need to get in here to these gold mines right here and take all of this gold out, and then we are going to just continue working our way around. We might even be able to get another raid in with this. So that last uh, mine right there had about 10,000 in it. Um, he only has 19,000 uh, <laughs> Dark Elixir, so I'm not too worried about that. And there's another 50% for us. Um, why don't we actually go ahead, let's see if we can get this... Uh, elixir right here that mortar is going to do some work on us but that's fine we should be able to take out an okay amount of it before the mortar comes and destroys us um so there they go they're just going to get the rest of that elixir get all that elixir real quick please uh we're just going to finish that up and i guess we'll drop off a few more and they'll just continue training and going through that <clears throat> but as you can see i haven't even fully deployed and we will be able to three star this base very easily with just uh, barch for sure and lightning spells um, so we'll go ahead and end right there 112,000 elixir 84,000 gold is not that bad for such a cheap army comp and then you come back and you're already at 192 of your troops so in about 30 seconds they will be all done again and let's see if we can get over a million uh, in this video and we'll just upgrade a wall <laughs> it sounds so like boring like oh we get to upgrade a wall a single wall yay for us <laughs> no it actually really sucks i hate having to upgrade only walls right now we have let's go ahead let's remove all and see what we have so we have 65 of the max walls that's 65 million um gold we need 185 million gold to finish it so we need to do what we just did 185 times so that's like almost 2,000 attacks <laughs> if we were to look at it that way unless you find like that one where I just found 380 that gets rid of some of it um, but ooh, man it is going to be a task getting all of those level 9 walls and then at down all 9 you can also get level 10 walls I really wish Supercell would lower all the prices of those um, <clears throat> because it would make it a lot easier on us it would make it a whole lot easier on us let's be honest alright so we're just gonna search for a little bit longer and see if we can find something in that 80,000, 100,000 um, range of gold and just take it all out for free. There's another 80,000 and it looks like it is, some of it is in his storage. So we're going to skip that one and see if we can find, here we go. This is what we want because we can definitely get into these uh, gold storages that are right there on the corner. Um, I don't know how well we'll be able to get into the other one, but we're definitely going to be able to get into that one. And we'll probably be able to get into this gold storage as well. Let's see how, how it happens. Um, we are going to need to take out all of his clan castle troops right here. So they are all going to go down. No, come on. we got to get this wizard out of the picture. Um, and then we also need to attack this corner right here. Get this wizard out of the picture if the archers could just get in there. All right, so now we're coming in this top area, and the mortar is going to do some work, but not too much. We'll be able to get in there to uh, that gold storage, as you can see right there. And once the archers get back in there and recollect, they're going to get all of that. And then we are just going to march our way back in here. <laughs> Sounds like march our way back in. No, stop it. Go in there. All right, we'll, we'll come in right here. 
even though that mortar is going to do some serious work, but they're going to get most of the damage done right there, and then they're going to work their way in, and we can follow them up with the archers. Archers are going to go take out that mortar real quick. Please take it out. Don't kill my archers. All right, and then now we are going to get all of this loot up here. Um, at the top, hopefully, yes. So now a lot, the majority of those barbarians went after the mortar, but now they're all about to go get the rest of that gold for us which is awesome and then let's just go ahead and use our king up here we'll go ahead and use his ability and just take out these two mines um, and we will end the battle right there and that is 200,000 gold for us look how easy that was that was so freaking easy just with barge oh I love barge so much um, so let's go ahead we're trying to finish our core uh, of the base right now go ahead and upgrade this one and we're looking good, but we're going to go ahead and train up some more Barch. And uh, yeah, guys, make sure uh, to stop by the stream after this. I am going to be streaming. We'll be doing some more Barch. We'll be doing some other things. Uh, we're just going to be trying to get as much gold as possible. Um, hopefully, like 3 million gold or something in the course of the stream would be awesome. I would freaking love that if we could do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and boost this as well. But make sure you guys stop by the stream. I'm going to be streaming today for about three hours. So after you watch this video, make sure that you stop by. It is twitch.tv forward slash gaming with molt. Looking forward to see you guys there. I really am. I appreciate all y'all's support for sure. Uh, you guys make this a lot of fun for me. So thank you so much. And as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you later.